Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 5th through to the 11th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the moon in reverse, followed then by the Queen of Wands upright. And next we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the Eight of Cups in reverse. And lastly, we have the Ace of Pentacles upright. So for your overall energy, Aries, you have that of the moon in reverse. The Pisces energy, Neptunian energy. Maybe some of you are dealing with the Pisces, but even if you're not, it could be major clarity is coming to you this week. Pisces, you're seeing the light. You're seeing things for what they really are. For some of you, this could be representative of a misunderstanding finally being cleared up. Because a lot of times the moon in the upright position can point to a misunderstanding. And uh, oftentimes this will come up around the time of uh, the Mercury retrograde, um, that kind of thing. Um, so maybe in the last Mercury retrograde, there was a misunderstanding that's about to be cleared up. For some of you, that could be the situation. Or it could be that you're just seeing things a lot clearer now. Maybe, you know, the clarity has just come to you for whatever reason. Um, now, remember, it's just a general read, so it's different for all of you. Some of you could be getting clarity in terms of your health. Uh, others of you could be getting clarity in, clarity in terms of your relationship or love situation. Others of you could be getting clarity in terms of, um, you know, career and, you know, work thing. Others uh, could be uh, just, you know, it, it again, it's so hard to pinpoint because I'm reading for a lot of different areas, right? So whatever the situation is, there could be either a misunderstanding that is cleared up or you're gaining clarity about something, your finances, health, you know, work, family, friends, what have you, relationships. So something is becoming crystal clear to you, Aries, I think this week. And that's important because when we have the, the clarity as our overall energy, it could be maybe even for some of you, you're getting clarity in all areas of your life. Maybe you're just having a severe aha moment. Coming right at the beginning of the week, here you come up in your own reading. The Queen of Wands is here in the upright position. This is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. That of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, it could be that you are dealing with another fire sign. This could be someone who, you know, things are clearing up with. Maybe you have a fire sign family member, friend, or a uh, work person or spouse that is another fire sign and you're clearing the air with this person. But you are coming up in your own reading. So whatever's going on here, Aries, it's like you're on the right track. Whatever it is you've cleared the air about or got some clarity on, you're you're definitely, you know, so to speak, barking up the right tree. So um, this is really good. You can be taking action too, because the Queen of Wands is a person of action that moves towards something. If you have a really good friend or a family member or um, a spouse, could be sort of you know, nudging you to get moving about something. Maybe now that things are have been cleared up, you know, you need to get moving towards it. It could be the case for some of you. Now it's paired up here with the seven of pentacles in reverse. You're no longer reevaluating something. For some of you, the seven of pentacles was in the upright position. This was you maybe a couple weeks ago or something like that. Or even just last week, you could have been reevaluating something, maybe reevaluating your career, reevaluating your finances, reevaluating or your relationship, something, but you're no longer doing so. I think maybe you came to, could be because you have the clarity now, so you don't feel you need to uh, sit back. See, the reevaluation stage in the upright is really good. I always say that. It's very helpful to reevaluate things in life instead of just assuming everything is fine. Um, but by the same token, when we're reevaluating something, we're not taking action. So it does make sense that now that you've no longer, you're no longer reevaluating a situation, you're, you're ready to take action. And that's typical Aries energy. When, you know, you stop and take a pause at something and look at a situation and then you finally figure out what's going on. Aries doesn't let any grass grow under their feet. They move very quickly when they realize what's happening and then they just carry on their path. That's the Aries way. 
Now, moving on towards the weekend, we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse position. The Eight of Cups in the upright position. This is that by Felicia card where we're taking off because we're not getting the emotional fulfillment that we really, really are seeking at this time. Now, this could be for many reasons. Remember, we walk away from situations because it's no longer emotionally fulfilling. Now, that's not, people assume it's always about, you know, romantic relationships. That's not always the case. Sometimes we get our emotional fulfillment from our career or our job or hobbies, whatever the situation is. And when we were, we're walking away from it, it's because it's no longer fulfilling us. When a card is in the reverse, this is where some of you, because it can point back to the Seven of Cups in the upright, some of you could be going back to the past to find emotional fulfillment because so, uh, somewhere back there it could have been a hobby could have been a job could have been a, a prior relationship friendship what have you was once valuable and brought you emotional fulfillment so you could be going back to you know sort of find those opportunities that maybe were lost once upon a day and you were trying to maybe recreate it or trying to bring back that sort of oomph that's you know that spark that emotion from something others of you you've just you're finished with your search you've you've already figured things out and you're ready to just move forward and then the last card you have is the ace of um pentacles in the upright position the ace of pentacles this ace is always ushering some kind of new beginning so for you aries this is probably a new beginning in something solid it could be representative of a small amount of money it, it does represent inheritance but more on the smaller side it could be like maybe you get an inheritance of a thousand dollars instead of ten thousand that kind of thing or it could be a situation where you have a new opportunity to build on something starting kind of from scratch you could be starting your own business and maybe you're starting at ground zero but that business will eventually you know yield a lot of finances for you others of you perhaps this is an opportunity to invest it could be a um, a real estate investment for some of you or it could just be stock market investment whatever the situation is you're investing in something that you believe will eventually bring um some it's going to bring profit down the road so for others of you where this is a relationship situation maybe you're moving towards solidifying a relationship that is just sort of maybe starting or is a little bit on sort of uh, flaky ground so to speak maybe you're trying to solidify it and bring it into something more solid um others of you this could be you know a, a lucky break of finances or something coming from the universe for you uh, or a new idea a new way of making money that could be it for sure because sometimes we get this you know aha moment where it's like i could capitalize on that or i could find a way to make a living doing that but again remember the ace of pentacles is it's not the ten of pentacles it, this is just a startup situation this could even be an offer or a gift that comes from the universe of a job a home a apartment if that's what you're looking for that kind of thing so something new is beginning but it's beginning at the end of the week <laughs> ironic <laughs> something new is beginning at the end so I know that I know Aries I know you get that I know you, it makes sense to you <laughs> so I hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and I will see you next week bye bye for now